Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, going to be continuing on the uh, bathroom renovation here. And uh, in my previous video, you saw that I got all the floor laid and I got the tub in place. So what I'm going to do now, uh, as promised, is I'm going to give the tub another coat of paint. Of course, I'm talking about just the exterior of the tub. Uh, gonna give this another coat of paint. It got scuffed up a little bit, like I mentioned, when I had to, I had to drag it on its side to get it in through the door. And all those, this is a small tub. It's actually very heavy. So I'm gonna give this a second coat of paint. And, uh, I'm gonna let this set up a little bit. And then I'm gonna jump into some, uh, trim. I bought some trim, some baseboard. And, uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing next. So this is the uh, the baseboard that I bought. It's just the MDF, eight foot lengths. Uh, it's kind of thin, half inch, but uh, I think it's gonna look good. I think it's gonna work. I'm just going to, I bought this pre-primed and I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a, two coats of a uh, semi-gloss with the latex. So I've got some painting to do this morning. Hopefully by this afternoon, this will be set up. So I can uh, pull the tub out and start installing uh, this baseboard. Okay, let's see what we get done this morning. So I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping the two coats will do. This is the second coat, and I should add that uh, before I brought the tub in here, uh, I did prep it. And uh, so I did, uh, I sanded it a bit and I did give it one coat before I brought it into this room. And uh, don't want any crumbs in there. The, the uh, finish on a clawfoot tub is, tends to be a little bit textured on the outside anyway. Uh, but we don't need any added crumbs here. Get out of there. So let's roll this smooth. Uh, I think the two coats will do. Again, this could always be, uh, you could always come back and touch this up. I mean, it is fully exposed. Uh, I think I'll cut away and I'll show you how I prepped this tub before I brought it in. Okay. Yeah, just just getting the flakes off. I'm gonna smooth this down. I'm gonna clean it with some mineral spirits, I think, and then I'm gonna get a little bit of trim clad uh, either rust paint or primer, and then I'm going to uh, enamel this in white. Uh, yeah, it's a little. It's not perfect. It's been painted quite a few times, but I think I'm just going to smooth it down a little bit more with a sander, clean it, and paint it. All right, well, it's the next day, and uh, I'm doing some baseboard right now. And this is where you really see how crooked your old house is. But anyway, I painted these boards yesterday. I got three coats of uh, semi-gloss, and... Uh, I want to try to get this done, but oh my god, it is, oh, that piece is a little bit too long, okay, okay. kind of lining up, kind of, anyway, you can really see the, I just kind of got everything tentatively, you can see the bow in the back wall, well it's not, see that, Kicks out, kicks in, gap, but okay, a little bit of caulking can fix that. Anyway, gonna get some uh, white baseboard down, and uh, hopefully I get this done, 
push this tub back in place then I can clean the inside of this uh, and start looking at the plumbing that's the plan for today maybe that plumbing too be kind of nice to have a toilet up here alrighty let's see how we do today okay so we got all the baseboards in that's looking okay uh, I even did a little bit down here Still gonna uh, gonna need more work on the uh, on the built-in, but I put a little piece of the trim, up, uh, a little piece of trim at the top also. So I'm gonna leave this alone for now. Uh, I'll have to do a few touch-ups on the trim, but so far so good. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna start to attempt to hook the plumbing up to this tub. So obviously the floor drain. I can see that the drain, not the floor drain, the tub drain. Um, that's gonna have to be cut to length. That shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, same as the tub's overflow. That'll probably have to be cut because it's already touching down there. Uh, no big deal. Now this is the waste piece that goes on the bottom. And this is, now I'm already seeing my first snag. And it's that, that is too big to slip in that union. <laughs> and that union's below floor level now, so... I'm uh, going to have to come up with some kind of a plan B for this one, uh, but that's okay. It just means I won't be able to use this tail because I should be able to use this old nut. This is the nut with the seal that goes on here. So, uh, yeah. Luckily, there's a chrome cap that should cover all this. Uh, it means I'll have to go get a little tail piece that will go from here uh, to in here. So I'll probably have to run out to the darn hardware store again. No big deal. I'm used to that. So let's uh, see if I can get this installed. First, I'm going to clean out uh, these areas. Uh, the tub is nicely painted. Uh, the inside is filthy. I'm going to scrub all this, uh, make this all clean for my mating surfaces, and uh, let's see how we do on this plumbing. Okay, so here's the old plumbing. So I'm pretty much going to use this uh, as my measurements. It's pretty much all the same thing, just not as pretty. So I'm going to use this for my measurements. I'm going to have to cut this pipe, and I'm going to have to cut this pipe by quite a bit. And then on the bottom, um, they had this contraption. Now, I really don't want this exposed if I can't help it. This is what they had. Uh, it doesn't fit my application, which still not sure I'm going to do with that. Uh, because this is the piece that comes with the kit. And I've already got this which is glued into place and when I did all my test fitting I obviously overlooked this this is standard plumbing stuff I didn't even think that this would not slip in there but it does not so I'm not lifting the floor back up we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to deal with whether whatever whatever situation uh, whatever we have to do we're just gonna have to make it work uh, a little bit disappointing but it is what it is. Luckily, there's this thing that came with the kit. So hopefully, whatever ugliness we have, maybe we can, maybe I can cut this really short or make this hang down as much as I can so this, this hides as much of the ugliness as possible. So this could be our best friend here, hopefully. Let's see how we progress. Okay, so I got my tailpiece in. Um, I'm following my instructions. Now on the drain basket, uh, I've added the uh, sealing tape around the threads. There's a bead of silicone around the uh, upper lip and there's a rubber seal underneath. Uh, this is the uh, drain plug device. I just got this out of the way. And then what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna take my plumbing tool and I'm going to snug this drain up. Don't want to overdo it, but I just want to see. Oh, 
Okay, let's call this good. I'm going to wipe off the excess of the silicone. I can reinstall uh, the drain plug and then I can carry on with the rest of the insulation. Okay, so right now I've got the overflow pipe in. Uh, I've got it just loose. All my connections are loose right now. And I put that large uh, foam gasket as per the instructions. I'm going to try to install this. Uh, this is the decorative uh, grating piece. Uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand. I might not be able to, but I'll try. I'm just getting started. There you go. Struggling a bit, but here we go. I got to start it, so. Snug this up. Okay, make sure our rubber is nice and now our, our rubber slip, but that's okay. We can push it back in place. Push the rubber back in place. It's a two-handed job, obviously. That's okay. We got all day to do it. Get up there, little rubber. There we go. Now the rubber is perfect. Of course, as it compresses, it might tend to slip a bit, so. Uh, let's try that. Okay, some good snugness. Now we gotta get over the hole, obviously. We wanna cover the hole, that's the whole point. There we go. Okay. That's off a little bit. I'll fiddle with this a little bit. So there's our drain. So that's been cleaned up. And the uh, plug is back in. Our overflow is in place. Uh, next, we will move on to the taps. Either that or I'm going to figure out, well, the taps have to go in. But I also have to figure out a way to join uh, the standard uh, ABS uh, waste pipe to this chrome tailpiece. So let's see how this is going to go. Okay, so yesterday things were going fairly well with the tub uh, until I ran into a snag. And the snag was my floor drain. And as it turns out, my new plumbing for the tub is all inch and a half stuff, pretty standard stuff. But my house was plumbed with inch and a quarter uh, because the old the old tub plumbing was one and a quarter copper, which is a little bit different. So I tried a, a multitude of different things. I tried different uh, quarter inch, half inch adapters. Nothing would made up to this. I don't know if you can see that. Why is that blurry as heck? Anyway. This is one and a half by one and a quarter for copper. And you think I could find something to made up to this? Absolutely not. So I was in a pickle. So I thought I'll go, uh, you know, I thought, well, well, I'm at the hardware store. Uh, I went to two hardware stores is what I'm trying to say. And I found nothing. Uh, so what it turns out, what I have to do, and I've already mangled this because I tried to cut it off from here because it was flush with the floor and it can't be done. And I am not lifting up these baseboards that I just glued and nailed down yesterday. And I'm certainly not peeling up this floor that I laid down the day before. So that left me with one option was to go downstairs to the kitchen and access this through the ceiling. Uh, now, this Renault all started because of a leak. So there's a little bit of damage to the kitchen ceiling anyway. So I'm down there now. I'm hacking. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this back from underneath. And I'm going to start with fresh with some inch and a half stuff. Uh, and then that will allow me to get a proper 
one of these inch and a half and then my new plumbing will slip in there I mean this this should have taken two minutes so while I was at the hardware store I kind of looked also at my what's gonna be the supply lines and you think I could find something nice to adapt uh, the pecs to this absolutely nothing so what I've decided to do so yesterday was a double fail so what I've decided to do is to reuse the old um, the old unions that were on the that were on the old tap set and so what I did was I cut them on I cut them down and I soldered this adapter here so this will take the PEX pipe so the plan for now is I'll have this on the tub like this and then I'll paint this I'll paint this upper part white and then this will be tied into the pecs and hopefully I can slip on my uh, towel bar to make this look like a chrome finish so I will be cr hopefully if this works I got these hopefully the chrome towel bar will work and it will made up to this and this upper part once it's fastened in uh, I couldn't even find these style unions at my hardware stores. Uh, so, let alone uh, something fancy in chrome, I couldn't even find these in, in, in brass. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I kind of, not really what I wanted. Again, yesterday was a bit of a double fail, but uh, I'm going to try to make this work like this. Uh, if I can have the chrome the chrome shaft coming up the upper part painted in white uh, I mean it is it is visible but it is facing the toilet so I think I'm just gonna have to live with that uh, a little disappointing but I, I gotta move ahead here I want to get this tub in place I want to get the, the the toilet in and uh, you know get my vanity in it's just kind of kind of got to get on with this so uh, I'll show you what I'm doing downstairs. I'm hoping it's going to work. Okay, well, here I am downstairs in the kitchen. I am right below the area. And as you can see, I was in the process of patching up the ceiling that was damaged from that leak. The leak that started this all. Uh, so I've poked a little hole there and there is that, that waste pipe for the tub. So where I could not access it from upstairs without undoing everything I had just done, uh, I thought, well, the last thing I wanted was another mess down here, but uh, what the heck, this has to be sanded and painted again. So uh, what's another patch? So I'm going to take my saw, I'm going to lop this off, and hopefully I can squeeze my hand in there to fasten a new union uh, with an elbow, with a pipe that goes straight up through the floor and hopefully we'll be in business. Hopefully. So let me get my uh, reciprocating saw out and we'll see how this goes. Hoping for the best here. Okay, well I got this cut out and this is our culprit right here. So I was able to cut it from down below. I pulled this pipe out of the ceiling. So this is the top that I tried to access from the bathroom upstairs. It got all mangled. I tried to uh, saw out the existing fitting so I could slip a new one on, but uh, it just ended up melting the plastic. So anyway, the culprit is out. Um, this is all inch and a half stuff. So it should be pretty easy to put a new elbow in there just as it is and make that pop out through the hole upstairs. Uh, okay, round two. Let's see if we can get this tub in. Okay, it's a little bit later. We got our new plumbing in, we got a new elbow, we got a union, and we've got a pipe that goes all the way up with a inch and a half fitting that will receive the tub drain. So let's look at the tub now. Okay, so I got the tub uh, ready to go in now. I got the proper fitting. This is the one and a half inch. So I've got my tail piece on my uh, my T. I've got the tail on. I've got the uh, plastic inch and a half nut. 
that's going to tighten onto this, this fitting. Once the pipe slips in, this is going to come down. And I got my escutcheon plate that's going to come down and cover the entire hole. So I'm going to jab this in. And then I'm going to attempt, now this is, this will be free to slide in and out. Then I'm going to attempt to manhandle the tub and bring it up to here. Uh, let's see how this goes. Might be good, might be bad. Anyway, right now I'm just happy that, ah, I'm just happy that this wants to go in. So, now I'm just going to have, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm measured and this actually might be too high. So I might not be out of the woods yet. But anyway, let's give this a try. Okay, well, I've got this whole thing stabbed in the hole and snug. Uh, it looks good. The chrome has uh, got the escutcheon plate, holds and camouflages the hole. And all my unions are tight. Now, uh, I, I don't know. I'm no expert, but the escutcheon plate at this point cannot be raised up. Because there's not enough clearance. Uh, I don't know if the legs should have been jacked up or what, but anyway, it slipped in. I snug the plastic nut to the best of my ability by hand. So I can't access this nut right now. Maybe I will from down the kitchen. But anyway, this is all in. So uh, yeah, it was a, a roundabout way of doing it, but the plumbing for the tub on the wastewater is all hooked up and I mean when you got exposed chrome you got to try to make it a little bit you got to try to make it look uh, half decent so now <clears throat> the next crisis is this PEX plumbing and hooking up the supply to uh, to the tub so I'm gonna stop for a minute here I'm gonna have a coffee because I need one for my nerves and after that, I'm going to shut the water off, probably for the fifth time. And I'm going to attempt to uh, hook the cold and the hot up to the uh, bathtub. Okay, we'll see you in a few. Okay, so now I'm on to the uh, supply lines. And my solution for making this uh, cheap... Uh, flexible plumbing look like chrome because uh, again I don't know if it's because where I live or what but I can never seem to find anything so I kind of got to make my own so what I did like I mentioned before I bought these cheap towel bars on sale so what I do is I take the skin off the towel bar and I slip it over this pipe so first I'm gonna put my tiny escutcheon plate on this on then I put my towel bar on and then there's a little bit of a reveal here I'm going to slip my union on here and I'm going to fasten this is going to look like a chrome pipe once it's fastened in place and you're a couple feet back eh, it kind of will look like a chrome pipe uh, so what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to need two hands. I'm going to put one of these rings on here, compression rings. This is the union that I soldered on, and this is for joining PEX to copper. So I'm going to put this on, then I'm going to slip this back up. Uh, I'm going to attempt to paint this in white up here, sort of to blend in with the tub. And that's my idea for simulated uh, chrome look. Okay, let me get this done, and then we'll see what she looks like after. Okay, well, here we are. This was my attempt at uh, some chrome plumbing for a clawfoot tub. So, it's, uh, it's not perfect. I really don't like this little angle here, but I was not able to straighten this out. This one here had the offset, but uh, it kind of works. Uh, you know, with the alignment of the tub, the new plumbing, uh, it's not 100% symmetrical, but I don't like this. This kind of angles off. But then again, there's a thinner rubber that I could put in here. This came with two rubbers. So maybe if I put this thinner rubber in, uh, 
that might push the overflow in a little bit so we make these pipes a bit more parallel but anyway for now the plumbing is done not only is the plumbing done but there's no leak so if there was a leak after all this I literally would have cried uh, but I you know I would have came back and fixed it anyway but there are no leaks and I also installed a shut-off valve for the toilet. So I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, this will be the IKEA bathroom claw foot install. Uh, still a lot more work to do with the claw foot, with the uh, with the ring and all that. But uh, I think this was the toughest part, and certainly my first time dealing with exposed plumbing that you just kind of got to make nice. So. Uh, it's finished okay. It's all chrome looking. The upper part is not chrome because I could not find any. Maybe one day if I do, I could change it, but there's nothing around here where I live. So, and everything's running nicely because you can see it right through the, it ties in with the toilet drain and there's the water going away. And I was already down in the kitchen. There are no leaks. So, I'm gonna call this uh, somewhat of a success. Uh, not great, but, uh, well, at least we can have a bath now if we want to. Uh, next will be the toilet, but like I said, I will leave it here for now. Uh, I want to thank everyone for watching, and uh, this was a little bit painful, I can understand. But uh, all part of the process, now comes the cleanup. So, uh, okay, we'll catch you on the next one.